we're going to make a triangle fill in Temple OS. So first of all, we want three points, x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. Okay, now we, uh, we want to uh, um, wait for the left button to be pressed. So input pointer, left button. While, while it is not pressed, yield. And then when, it, when, when the button is pressed, then we capture it. IP position dot X, Y1, input pointer, position Y. And then we have to wait for the button to be released. Otherwise, bad things happen. And then we're going to just give us some feedback. We're going to draw a circle. We're going to use the, the uh, default device context. And let's make a circle 10. So let's see if this works. F5. And we click we get a circle. Yes, it works. Okay, then let's do a uh, press a key and DC fill. So that will clear the uh, persistent layer. We're going to click three um, three points a triangle okay so 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 let's see if it works so we click one two three and then it says press a key okay so it's kind of uh, ugly so we do uh, settings push Win max doc, clear the background document. Let, let's get rid of the border. And uh, down here, let's do settings pop. Let's see if that's better. F5, click, click, click. Bueno. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, That's better. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Click, click, click. Okay, we've got to press the key at the top. Okay. So now let's do view zero. Fill try. And we'll call this fill try F64. F64 X1, F64 Y1, F64 X2. F, F64, Y2, F64, X3, F64, Y3. So this is going to be a floating point um, triangle fill. F64, um, X1, Y1, X2, Y2, X3. So now we're going to say, uh, we're going to say uh, Y, X, Y, comma, X, left, X, right, uh, inverse. I've done this a few times. Slope, left, inverse, slope. Okay, so how are we going to do this? What we're going to do is we're going to step down one row at a time drawing um, horizontal lines so uh, so uh, what we do is we say uh, for y equal now we're going to uh, the three points have to be um, have to uh, top middle bottom okay so um, first of all we're going to go from y1 
y less or equal to y2, y plus plus. Okay, so first we're going to draw the upper half. And so uh, x, so x left is equal to x1, x, we're going to draw from left to right a horizontal line and uh, inverse slope left is equal to uh, uh, x2 minus, oh no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Normally, slope is rise over run, which is y over x, but we're um, we're stepping one pixel down at a time, and so that means the rise is one, and we want the uh, we want to add the x value, which we flip the slope, so we have the x on the top. We want the x on the top divided by y2 minus y1 and uh, the slope on the right is going to go to the other um, we're gonna go uh, hold on oh I did it wrong okay we're gonna do um, click 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 okay let me Okay, let me go ahead and do this. So our triangle is click, click, click. Okay, you see how that goes? Okay, that's how we're doing it. So we're doing X3 is the one at the bottom. On the left, it goes from top to bottom. On the right, it goes from... Uh, we're, we're, you, you put what you're aiming towards. Okay, now we do... Uh, then we say, uh, what do we say? We say uh, for x equals x left, x less or equal to x right. So I'm calling x plus plus. Then we say uh, gr plot default context uh, x comma y. Okay, now we say uh, we say x left plus equals inverse slope left x right plus equals inverse slope right. Well, let's see if it works. Okay, so we go click, click click and it didn't oh we didn't draw it okay so fill try f64 fill try f64 x1 y y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 these are integers getting converted to uh, floats okay here we go click 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 it worked okay easy easy as pie now now we have to draw the bottom half of the triangle okay so uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's just keep this simple okay actually the left and the right stay the same it's a continuation now the bottom and the top uh, now we are aiming on the left we the left stays the same so we we leave the left slope the same the right slope we are going towards number three from number two towards number three from number two and we are going towards number we start at number two we should continue where we left off so we, we now we want to go to number three we go left to right. Let's go ahead and okay. I think we're done. Let's try this puppy. Okay, here we go. We go click, click, click. Bingo. Okay, so this is only for a particular orientation. 
Um, if you're doing an actual routine, you have to uh, you have to uh, you have to see how it's oriented and then decide. Now we're going to make an I64 version. So let's just change F64 to I64. Replace selection all. Okay, so now we're going to do an I64 version and uh, perfectionist. Okay, so guess what we're going to do? X left. We're going to do um, 32 bits of fraction on the left of the decimal and on the right of the decimal. 32 bits on the right of the decimal, 32 bits on the left of the decimal. So the decimal is going to be at the 32 bit marker. Okay, so we're doing fixed point. This, this is called fixed decimal. It's not a decimal point, but fixed point. There are many different um, fixed point is uh, used for fixed point iterations, but in this case we're doing fix, fixed uh, radix point. Fixed. Okay, that's a fancy word for decimal point. Okay, so we are shifting this over 32 bits. Kick it over 32 bits. And when it comes time to plot, let's kick it over 32 bits. Okay. That's Uh, is this enough? I don't know if this can work. Uh, I'm going faster than my brain can handle. Okay, let's uh, let's just let's just see if I64 works. Click, click, click. Didn't work. Oh, it crashed. Okay, restart. That happens. It's a ring zero operating system. So, uh, that's normal. There's going to be a reset button when we make a, uh, a PC. PCs used to have reset buttons. It was no big deal in the past. What did I, what did I screw up? I think I, uh, well, it's hanging, so that means it's, uh, Oh, it's going uh, through 32 bits. Okay. I was afraid of that. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the Y, as a matter of fact. I didn't do the other one. Okay, I, I screwed it up. Let's just do 32. This is kind of distasteful. Okay. So the Y is not shifted over 32 bits. And the X is shifted over. Let's... Let's see if that works. Okay, that works. Okay, so the reason I did both of them is I want to show you why on earth a person would want to do fixed point. The kiddies think that there's no floating. They say, oh, you must not have a floating point processor. No. Back in the old days, um, T0, F, we have time zero and time final. Okay, and we have I. In the old days, um, it used to be a big penalty to use floating point. Now it's only about a factor of two slower, I think. For I equals zero, I less than, let's do 10,000, I plus plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to time the execution. T sub s gets the time in seconds. T sub, so the start time, stop time, time equals time colon 12.6f tf minus t0. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, time these these two 
Okay, so we're going to time these two. And whenever you do timing, be careful of cash. And so what you do is you do it twice. And that way one goes first and then the second goes first. And then you can tell. So I'm going to run it. And uh, it's waiting for me to click. So it's drawing on top. Okay, so um, let's look at this. Um, the floating point was 1.7 seconds. Um, the, uh, the integer was 1.3 seconds. Okay, the reason the bulk of the uh, the bulk of the time is in the uh, the plot. So the over, we so we we save time on the uh, anyway. So that's that's what I wanted to show you.